Hi, William here. And if you're thinking about starting an online store, I want to sh share with you a brief comparison between Shopify and Commerce HQ. I'll show you the, the pricing structure, some of the apps that they have included, and then you can make up your own decision which one you want to choose. So you can see right here, we're on the Shopify signup page where you can get a free trial for 14 days. And they have, you can start off with three shopping plans. They've got the basic Shopify plan, which is $29 a month. The middle shopping plan, Shopify plan, which is $79 a month, or the advanced Shopify plan. And you can see on this page, they, they don't give you any information on you know, the comparison, what, what do you get, what do you not get between the different plans. They just show you the three different pricing, which is very frustrating. So I, I did a little research for you, and I'll show you the, the comparison right here. So right here, they have a breakdown on this page between the three different plans. So I'm going to cover these three and talk about what's missing on the on the, the less expensive plans and tell you that you know there is a time when you will want to pay more and I'll, I'll share that with you in just a moment. So right here you can see they have the three plans laid out here in this nice table. You get with each one of these plans you get one store. You can sell on you can add the store to your social media profiles. It's the same check out on all three. You can add unlimited products, of course. You can do coupons, discounts, gift cards. You can integrate with Google and Facebook for running your ads. You can add your, if you have virtual assistants, you can add virtual assistants or, you know, you know if you have a partner, you can add them in there. So the, the base plan is limited. So if you have more than two people you're working with, you will want to upgrade to the middle plan. But you know, this, to, for starting off, this base plan is fine. The, the locations is only if you have different uh, store locations or different warehouses where you want to track inventory. If you're doing drop shipping, you do not even need that. The professional reports is not included in the base plan, which that is very useful, but you can get by without it. The advanced report builder is only available in the most expensive plan. The apps are on a separate store where you can go in and the apps are paid separately. So you do have to pay in addition to your base store cost, you do have to pay for the extra apps. And I'll be showing you a few of the apps that you probably want to add to your store right away. And here is where I decided when I was going to go from the base plan to the next tier up. So if you look at this, when you're processing credit cards online and you have so many sales, you're going to be paying 2.9% of each transaction plus 30 cents for each transaction. So the total cost is going to be based on the total of the customer's order right? The whatever order that the customer places on your store, that's the 2.9%. So let's say they spend $100 on your store. You're going to be paying 2.9% of that. So $2.90 plus the 30 cent for the transaction. So it'll make it $3.20, right? So when you are like below $1,000 a month, then the base plan is fine. But the more you make, the more if you like if once you get to a thousand dollars a month, it's actually you'll make more money if you increase your plan to this middle plan and pay the two point six percent. Just the way that you can do is something like a thousand dollars a month around there. So you can do the calculation and see. And maybe in another video I'll do that calculation for you and show you that that point where it is actually beneficial for you to upgrade. Even if the base plan does meet all of your needs. So the third party payment processor. So if you're not using Shopify payments, if you're using something else, maybe you're not in the United States or you are somewhere where you can't use Shopify payments, you are going to pay this extra transaction fee on each order. So that's just something to, to keep in mind there. 
And of course, they have multiple payment methods. And in another video, I'll show you the different payment methods that are available. The shipping discounts, if you know, if you're shipping these products yourself from your warehouse or something like that, you can get a discount directly through, uh, you know, USPS when you're shipping products, sometimes with FedEx. And they do give you, you know, they show you right here, DHL Express, UPS, and USPS. But this isn't that big a deal, especially if you're drop shipping, then this does not even matter. But if you're shipping your own products, then this is something that you could use. But I'll show you another method where you can save even more than this. And then a point of sale. So this is for anyone who is going to uh, has maybe has a, a store, a brick and mortar store where people, you know, you have customers that walk in. You can have a you've probably seen those devices that you can put on your phone and swipe credit cards and things like that. That's called point of sale. So you can take payments from someone, say you're at, you're having a garage sale, for example, or a flea market, then you can sell things and process people's products, uh, process their orders right there. And that's basically the, the three, a breakdown of the three pricing structures here for Shopify. Now, let's take a quick look over here at Commerce HQ, and you can see here we are on their homepage, and they have the same 14-day free trial, and they do not show the pricing here on the, on the main page. They just show some of the features right here. But if we go right over here to their pricing page, you can see that they also have different payment tiers. So the first one is one store, one store. It's $99 a month. It includes everything. All the all the features that are available in the store are the same across all, uh, all the plans. There are no transaction fees like in, in Shopify. So even if you use a third-party payment processor, there still are no transaction fees. You only pay the transaction fees to the third party party processor. So that's already one one big advantage there. I mean, it is $70 a month more, but in a moment, I'm going to show you why Shopify is actually going to cost you more for the similar plan for the base plan. You can update, you can upload unlimited products and files, and it has the same security settings as Shopify. And this plan, you can make up to $30,000 a month in sales at this plan before you'd want to upgrade. Now they do, when you upgrade, they do have upgrade plans that are less expensive than this. This plan, the pro plan, includes six stores. So like on Shopify, if you wanted to open six stores on Shopify, you'd be paying $29 for each store. And same thing for the apps. You're gonna be if you have an app on one store and paying for it, you can't use that same app on another store for most apps. Most apps you have to pay that separate fee for each one, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, just some of the most common apps. And on this one, you can do up to eighty thousand dollars a month in sales. And then you have the enterprise. If you're gonna have 30, 30 or more stores, but they have another plan for that, and you do they do custom packages. So unlike Shopify Plus, where you're paying $2,000 a month, this would be a similar plan with the enterprise plan. And then every plan with uh, Commerce HQ comes with a visual store builder. So it has, it has some custom themes, which I'll show you back over here. So some of these themes right here that are custom themes that you can choose, high converting themes. I've actually used each one of these. And they also have this... The, a version of each one of these that you can actually create visual builders. So you can actually restructure everything here that is on, on your page. All right. So you're not stuck with just these themes. You can actually create your own and create funnels. It has the abandoned cart recovery. And if you look at uh, the abandoned cart recovery for a similar app that they have for Shopify, that's already an additional $19 a month for Shopify. So instead of paying $29 a month, 
you know, like you think you're going to, like most people think that they're only going to pay the $29 a month, but you're missing out on a lot of things like the abandoned cart app, which is $19 a month. So the $29 plus the 19, that's, we're already talking $48 a month already. So there's already half, you know, you almost doubled your, your cost for Shopify. So you're talking already $48 a month just for Shopify and this one app. Commerce HQ has it included. They also have a, a, a partnership with uh, Custom Cat. So I know a lot of people are used to paying an extra fee uh, for Custom Cat on Shopify, but if you use Custom Cat for your print on demand, like t shirts and mugs and things like that, it's actually a reduced pricing and there is no monthly fee for the use of the app. The automated gift cards, just like in, in Shopify, coupon codes, just like in Shopify, uh, unlimited products, unlimited file storage, advanced reporting. So you have, uh, this is only available in the $300 a month plan for Shopify. You have a related products app, which I didn't actually pull it up, but that actually has another cost in there. If we go back, if we just go over here for a minute and we look for related products app, this is a separate app that you have to store that you have to sell or add to your store. This one's an ad. Let's just look at this one. Usually they have the most popular one here at the top. They do have a free plan. And you see that also you may also like these. This is a feature you can add to Commerce HQ. They have a free version and then they have the paid version. So this one is limited. It's a limited version that can only be shown for. Uh, it also shows frequently bought together, which Commerce HQ has automatic discount nine ninety a month. So forty eight dollars a month plus the nine ninety. You're already looking at fifty eight dollars. A month we're so almost to sixty dollars a month already with Shopify. Go back over here. Another thing they have here is the uh, CSV export builder. So I use an app uh, with Commerce HQ called Dropified. I don't use Oberlo. I use Dropified. But when I have a when I have bulk orders, then I'm going to send a ton of orders over to one supplier. We use the CSV export builder. So we can just export the orders and send the file straight to the uh, supplier. And I'll just show you that has a cost of $24.95 a month. So we said before we were at about 50, oh, it's almost $60 a month. So 60 plus 25, we're already $85 a month and we're not even done. $85 a month for Shopify if you want to get just some of the same features. You'll see all the features. Here's the one click upsell app. So once your customer makes a sale, you can have another a one click upsell pop up for them. That app is $25 a month on Shopify. So now, you know, we were at $75 a month. Now you added this other 25, we're at $100 a month. So you can see just with these, just a, a couple of apps, we have already, we're already paying the same price. That's where, you know, a lot of people get uh, frustrated with Shopify is they, you know, they think that they're only going to be paying $29 a month, but to get the full functionality that a lot of these uh, popular stores, successful stores are getting, they're already paying $100. You're going to wind up paying $100 a month anyway. So that's the nice thing about um, Commerce HQ. So you also, you have this upsell campaign builder, which is nice. You can choose to give different types of discounts and this is all automatic. You can do a store-wide discount with a timer, which is nice. These work very well. And then you have these apps built in that increase conversion rate. Now this one right here is a countdown timer and it will show you how many of the products that are left. To get that functionality on Shopify, you have to go add the herd. This is the least expensive one. Herify, and it's $7 a month. So now we're at $107 a month just for the same functionality that you get on Commerce HQ. Another nice feature is the accordion checkout page. 
in Commerce HQ, you can control how your checkout page looks and feels and how many how many windows you want them to go through, how many steps you want them to go through when they're checking out. So that's another nice feature that you cannot control in uh, Shopify. So those are the features in, in Commerce HQ that I wanted to share with you. And if you want to take a look at these, I've actually put the links to these products uh, to Shopify and to Commerce HQ down in the description. You can check those out. And if you found this video helpful, be sure and uh, give me a like on the video. And if you want to be notified on any other videos that I do on Shopify or Commerce HQ or other uh, e-commerce websites, or if you're interested in drop shipping, uh, be sure and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified every time I, I release a new video. And if you want to go through and see my other videos, be sure and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Again, this is William from dropshippingreport.com.